when I, I, was, I was lucky because I served two parishes, um, and the one they sent me to, that the synod sent me to evangelism school. And so we were all told how to be good evangelists and be in the community and all that good stuff. And, um, and so I did that. And a few weeks later, the council was in my office going, so what's wrong with the preaching? And I said, what do you mean? They said, it's kind of tapered off a little bit. And I said, well, out being an evangelist. And one of my council, the council president at the time said, um, if we need to be out in the community, we will. But pastor, you need to be working on the sermon. And in my second, when I was in grad school, the parish was very small, and I was there part time. And the congregation was clear that, quote unquote, I had to do the pastor things, and for them, preaching was tops. So I guess what I learned from two congregations is make preaching a priority, because it is for for many many people. Um, so, my bishop once said to me, you know, preach the word, administer the sacraments, care for the poor, and it's like, yeah, but what else am I supposed to do? And I have come to find that that's a lot. So make preaching a priority. Um, the question that I think I ask a lot of pastors is, where are they hearing the gospel? Um, are they hearing anybody other than themselves preach? And if not, how can they, how can they go about doing that so that they get fed? Um, so that would, be, that would be second. And I guess when it comes to continuing ed, um, figure out what you need individually to learn and go after that. Uh, and the one way to do that is to kind of sh be daring enough to ask your people, um, how do they experience your preaching? Find a mechanism to do that. So be dare, and, and they'll tell you if they really think you want to know and if they really think it's safe to tell you. So find out what the people think um, and then find out what you need and go get it. And it may not be uh, going to hear great preachers um, it may be finding somebody who will work with you and, and help you to grow.